Well, hello. I'm lying on my side right now because I put some uh, eardrops in my ear and I'm letting them uh, do their work. Uh, I actually should get my ears checked, but um, when I first got uh, tinnitus, I had wax in my ear and I think that was one of the major causes for it. So I just periodically do this, uh, the Debrox in my ear. Uh, I'll do two or three treatments just to work out any earwax that I might have built up. I know our ears need wax, so we don't want to use it like all the time, but maybe once a quarter or once every, you know, maybe once every three months, I'll go ahead and do a treatment just to make sure I don't develop a big, clump of wax in my ear again so i don't know what do you do and do, do you have you had any problems with earwax before right now i've got the the liquid in my ear so it it uh it sounds like my ear is stopped up and i hear the shh tinnitus at the same time <laughs> so i'm actually okay um you can see my little kitty uh, thing in the background there where the, sometimes my kitties jump up there and uh, play uh, anything to distract me from my tinnitus is good but really lately I just get used to the sound uh, I can't really do anything about it so I just try to look after my ears I'll probably go in for another checkup uh, with the doctor uh, and have him look inside my ears and see if there's anything else you know any problems inside but uh, I seem to be hanging in there okay, and I'm having a pretty good day. Um, so, yeah, I don't have too much to report today, but uh, except for I'm doing the, the deep rocks in my ear to, to loosen up any earwax that might be in there. Um, but, yeah, just I guess some of my previous videos are just learning to accept uh, some things that we can't always change. But there's so many things we can still do in our life. And it could be worse, you know, we could be dead, we could have lost uh, some fingers. I think I'd rather have the tinnitus than lose my hand, for example. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I can still walk around and, and talk to people and, you know, I'm fine. Uh, but it's so important to learn to accept that we have these problems and work around them and... Uh, our brain adapts and we adapt to, to a changing uh, situation. And that's, that's life. You know, we have to learn to adapt to different things. And then sometimes it's just a new normal, but you just have normal days and you get used to it. And, you know, you go on with your life. That's what I'm trying to do. And I think I'm doing pretty good at it. So <laughs> that's my little video. Uh, well, I'm just waiting for uh, this stuff to take effect. I guess I need about two more minutes. Um, they say you're supposed to hear a little crackling in there if it's working the wax out. Some people said that. Maybe there's a little crackling. I don't know. I just hear the tinnitus. <laughs> so not a big deal. And I got my teeth cleaned the other day, and that was nice. Um, so I just keep doing things to take care of myself. And, you know, when you take care of yourself, uh, uh, you feel good about it. Maybe um could do things like go get a new shirt or... Um, get a haircut, uh, do things, do some things to make you feel good about yourself and, uh, don't beat yourself up so much just because you have tinnitus because so many famous people, you know, they, they got it. A lot, a lot of famous people like musicians, especially because they, uh, were exposed to a lot of noise, uh, and it caused them to have tinnitus, but they still keep on going. They keep making music and, uh, they do okay. So, okay, well, that's my little video. I'm probably sideways today. I hope you were able to see me. <laughs> and I'll, I'll stop the video and go get this out of my ear.